Welcome back to another episode of Two Set Violin. Recently, we made a video where we introduced eight classical music performances that we think are just absolutely epic that everyone should listen to. And you guys really love that video. It got like over a million views in, I don't know, like a, a month, month or yeah. something. <laughs> yeah. You know, at the time we were actually meant to do 10, but then it just went too long because it's too much to talk about. So today we actually came up with another eight recordings because there's so many epic performances out there. And a lot of these recordings we pick up from when we're studying music. Yeah. Actually, a lot of these recordings shape our careers, I guess. Probably gonna get cover strike for half this, so definitely check out Two Set Power. Appreciate the support. Yeah, anyway. Oh, oh yeah. Starting okay. off strong. There's this composer called Shostakovich who wrote some of the most emotionally dark and intense music just ever. And then there's this violinist called Sergei Kachatria. But anyway, here's a live performance he did, and you have to check out this cadenza. It's just insane. Dude, that it control. might, it, yeah, the vibrato, the bow stroke, the intonation that, that kind of like, you can feel the pain. He keeps the tension and the suspense in the most softest of passage. Yeah. Anyone that's performed violin in front of people know that it's always the soft passages that are the most nerve wracking because, you know, you can get shaky bow, the tone can thin out. It's a lot harder than playing fast parts, like most of the time, right? Yes. Yeah. But this is only in the beginning. Yeah, so let's gets... for, skip forward because it's, you know, it's a long concerto. I got goosebumps. Yeah, right? that was good. <sighs> anyway, you guys get the point. Yeah. Like, that was even higher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was... That's so in tune. So in tune. And it's a live performance. This is already 30 minutes of playing in. I want to get to this build up bit. <clears throat> I got goosebumps so many times. Yeah, like, yeah. I remember listening to it like 10 years ago. I'm like, yeah. holy moly. I only had to start because I realized how <laughs> yeah, weird yeah. it would be that this, this will be one video. It's just like, you notice like, that that octave bam and then soft again. It's like a good gear shift in the car. And you really the feel this kind of sense of like the pain. Because yeah. if you guys know about Shostakovich, right? His yeah. life, the stuff he went through, Russia. Human suffering. Human it's suffering. A lot of suffering. I want to know what this guy was thinking when he played this too. Did he have some image or something that compelled yeah. him to do such a performance? <clears throat> Ling Ling is practicing 40 hours a day. It feels genuine. It wasn't me. put on. He was trying to get some sort of emotion out of it. Dude, this is legendary. How does this only have <clears throat> 34,000 views? Come on, all Ling Ling wannabes. Go watch it right now. All right, next one. Oh, uh, oh. Okay, this is like big gear change. Many of you guys know Paganini Caprice 24, right? But do you know Paganiniana? Okay, so Paganiniana is like this rendition created by a, another famous violinist called Nathan Milstein. I feel like he was quite a good overall player. Yeah, a bit more old school, you know, from 40, right. 40, 50 years. Yeah. Don't quote me on that. But. Yeah, <laughs> it's just old school. The recordings are all black, black and, and white. white days. Yeah, black and white days. <laughs> So Can I just say the pose, old school pose? Yeah, yeah it's such an old school violin. Yeah. <laughs> oh. You will know that theme, right? Yeah. Now the variation starts coming. Can I just say how easy that was for him to? He didn't bat him yeah. up. They should make all the faster violence in the world play this. Oh yeah, uh, that would be the challenge. <laughs> like... It's like a 
stepped on my scales. Yeah. It's kind of like that kind of old school feeling where it just, they just, boom. They're forward. not trying <laughs> to like, trying gonna go around. add extra flair. Like, if you compare it to the Katsuchiram earlier, it's a completely different style oh, yeah. playing, right? So different. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's funny how these great artists, they play it in a way that makes you feel like you can do it as well. Yeah, I got yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I think you try, try learning it. Yeah, and you try it for like a year later, you're like, Okay, next one. This is a personal favorite recording of mine back in high school. It's basically Congo Violin Concerto, and I like the piece a lot. And there's so many great recordings from different artists. I guess I just like this because it's like nostalgic for me. It was the mm -hmm. recording I listened to back in high school. But it's also nice because we haven't included Isaac Perlman yet, and he is a legendary violinist that I'm sure many of you mm -hmm. know. Something about this recording and his playing style hits the kind of idea of romance to me. Oh, it's yeah. Romantic. <clears throat> sound. I mean, I do it too. We just gliss when it's convenient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he glisses, it's very effective. Mm. Combination of vibrato, the gliss and the bow change, the way the phrases work. This is a type of like phrasing that also reminds me a little bit of like Nadians. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, got, it's got that playing. style. Yeah, it's got that I don't know how to sweet, it's so sweet and all. You're like, mm. Midori Goto, Sarasate Zappa Tetato, Zappa Tieto. Uh, Midori, she had quite a long career actually. So she was a very good at a young age already. And I just remember this recording, it was just crisp, on point, can't go wrong. This is how she sounds like. Yeah. So play a bit of it. Bro, those harmonics, <laughs> they're <laughs> not easy to do yeah, that quick. That's not easy. Your hand has to, one finger press down, one finger lightly touch, but then being a violin, each note is a slightly different distance. And if you mess it up, it doesn't speak. She played it as if there was no da 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 Did I just cheer? I would cheer with that. <laughs> <laughs> she just viral that. Like, oh. Yeah, oh, that's so that's funny. So good. Bro, what even is that? <laughs> I don't know. She's just moving so fast. That is virtuoso <laughs> playing right in there. Yeah. All Next right. one. Janine Jansen, again. Prokofiev concerto number two, which I played a lot when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. She has the ability to be so powerful, but yet still lyrical. It sounds like a Disney scene at the moment. Oh yeah. Like a fairy tale. <laughs> Boom! I think you said that before. Did I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh really? Yeah. That passage there does not sit comfortably on the violin. <laughs> yeah, it this is, is not, not easy. It is written very awkwardly to play. Most people playing that would be figuring out how to even technically hit the notes. She makes it sound like a melody. Oh, well, there you go. You should <laughs> yeah. definitely check out the whole thing. Mm -hmm. It gets epic. The, the second movement, beautiful as well. Mm -hmm. Next one, Arabella Steinbacher. Okay, this one was just a very solid. Beethoven. By the way guys, Beethoven concerto is one of those concertos where it's hard to be solid. It's very hard to be solid. It's too easy to just mess up. Yeah, people are probably gonna kill me for saying this, but in my opinion, in my humble it, opinion, in my humble opinion, if your Beethoven doesn't offend, you're already at God level. Yeah, if your Beethoven doesn't offend people, 
You're doing a very good job. Yeah. Dude, the concertos basically arpeggios and scales. Yeah, and then you had to make scales and arpeggios sound like a melody. Yes. That is hard. Just scream in the audience. Ah! Dude, that'll... I offended someone. Yeah. <laughs> Already. Dude, I'll throw someone off. But you can see how exposed that is, right? A freaking octave dominant seven up yeah. here. The orchestra tutti plays a four minutes, you're standing in cold hand, no yeah. warm up. And you just expect to play octaves that are in tune, exposed by yourself in a concert hall. And the orchestra just got peace. Yeah, it's well, all up to you. We're like, like, supporting to... you. Yeah, you can't help you, you can't hide in us. Yeah. Broken thirds. Broken thirds. Carl Flesh is the sixth or seventh. Scales up. Up here. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> if you play Mala, you know what I mean. Just, yeah. just. Da, 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 da. That is so scary. Dude, that's all you get. <laughs> yeah, because you're not turning yeah, again. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, go play. <laughs> anyway, you guys should listen to the rest. Hilary Hahn. So <clears throat> I actually played the Barbara Vaughan concerto with um orchestra back when I was in uni, and so my friend was like, "Have you heard Hilary Hahn's third movement?" I was like, "Nah." And my friend was like, "Dude, it's messed up. It's messed like so good." Yeah, messed up as in like oh. it will mess you up. Yeah. Like, Whoa, dude, the whole movement's just three minutes in her version. Yeah, Probably yeah. be like five minutes from. <laughs> yeah. Awkward string crossing. And the rhythmic pulse she has, it was, it's not just playing on time, that's yeah. one thing, but the rhythmic pulse. She brings out the syncopations when this should be. Yeah, when it's important. Uh -huh. Can I say it's like this again, the timpani or the, the percussion? Yeah, like, your turn. <laughs> yeah, your <laughs> turn. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> you think that's messed up? Wait till you get to the coda. It gets a bit. <laughs> I can't even like physically do it now. Let's air <laughs> And the last one is like. I want to get my violin. <laughs> you would have to be so efficient, like. And my fingers are already leaving the string too much. A bit. Yeah, like the pinky, is like your pinky is curling out. The pinky out. has to be like that, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah pinky wants to lift up. Yeah. And it's projecting. It projects. It projects. Right, like, with violin playing, half the game is projecting. Oh yeah, if you can play slowly, you can play quickly. That's one. This is chill out a bit. Yeah, yeah chill <laughs> out. This is a chill out video. Kreiser, Libus, 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 whatever. You guys know this one. Chrysler wrote this piece. Yeah. Guess what? Played by Chrysler, 1930s. How rare is it to be able to hear the composer play yeah. his own piece? Yeah. <laughs> oh, he just went for it. There's a lot of vibrato. vibrato, a lot more than what we're used to today. The <clears throat> vibrato is obviously also very just it just spins. Yeah, it's just old school. It just yeah. keeps going. A lot of glissando. I feel like there's more like this kind of a yeah, articulating. It's a, it's a there's a lot of more a lot of articulate and portamento. Yeah. Keep in mind the strings and everything was a lot different. Yeah. Like he wouldn't be playing with a shoulder rest. I wonder if they had string companies back then. 
Yeah, where did they get the strings from? Yeah, what the hell? How did they make the strings from? <laughs> da, 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 da. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? Did yeah. they order online? Free shipping if over a hundred and something dollars of violin strings. Oh, that's our website. Oh, twocenterpower.com, guys. Check it out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're going to get copy striked in this video, but we have to share this with you guys. Anyway, guys, I think that's enough. Long episode. I know, we try to keep it short. But hey, if you enjoyed this type of video, accent the like button if you made it this far. Legato the subscribe button. And uh, see you guys next time. Keep practicing. <laughs> I don't want to slap it. <laughs>